If you're detailing as a business and you're a professional detailer, you have to find ways to be more efficient. And today I'm gonna give you one simple tip you can do to increase your efficiency when it comes to polishing paint. Now, if you're doing this as a weekend warrior, as you just like to detail your own personal vehicle, this might not apply to you just because you have the luxury of just doing whatever you want. And don't forget to download the ultimate guide to start your detailing business down in the description box. There's over 10,000 words of pure content to help you start and grow your business. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so I think we can all agree that this paintwork is pretty trashed. And before we go into the lessons, I'm just going to let the video play out and I'm going to see if you can guess what the tip is when it comes to polishing paint. So yes, the most simple thing you can do to finish a panel faster is to polish a larger section. And whenever you wanna try anything new, you wanna switch up the, the combo, the pad, the compound, the, the technique, the method, the main question you should be asking yourself is, did you get the results that you were going for? Because here's the thing, everyone is gonna have their own way of doing things. You're gonna clean your interior in your own method, with your own way, with your own process, whether it's polishing paint or cleaning an engine bay, everyone will do, will do it in their own manner. So as long as you're getting the results that you want, nothing else matters. You might not agree with what someone else is doing or you might think you have a better process, but as long as you're getting the results that you want, you're doing a good job. Now here's a great example of the compound drying out because this paint is pretty trashed. Um, some, some clear coat is chipping from the front. There's some crow's feet here and there. So the paint itself just isn't in the best condition. So as I'm wiping it off, it is literally just sticking to the paintwork. Now with this kind of paint, because it's drying out, I'm not going to spend, tr spend time trying to get it to wipe off because I know if I just keep on working, I can quickly go over that dry area with the compound and it's gonna come off super easy. Again, this goes back to the fact that like, you can do things differently than what most people are showing or teaching and you can still get the same results. And as you can tell, the paint came out absolutely fine. Yes, there was a little bit of a mishap where the compound dried out, but if you know what you're doing, if you understand the paint, if you understand the, the, the combo that you're running, you're gonna be able to move a lot more efficiently and not slow down. That's very important. Like if you're doing this as a professional, as you're getting paid for this, slowing down makes you work longer on the vehicle. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Next, we're gonna move on to the polishing and it's the same process, but with this one, I'm actually gonna be working a larger section. With the cutting, I broke it up into threes, but with the polishing, I'm gonna break it down into two sections. Now, it's important to note that the environment that you're working in plays a major factor into this, meaning I am in a shop it's not hot, it's not being beat down by the sun, so the panels are easy to work with. If you're on a mobile job site and the, and the sun is out blazing and the panels are super hot, you are not gonna have the luxury to work the same way as if you're working in a shaded cool area. Now there were some areas that I did a second pass with the cutting disc or the polishing pad 
that I didn't show on camera. But even with that, it's still faster to just work larger sections and to do some touch-ups here and there versus doing like a little two by four section across the entire panel. Another factor to consider is how hard or soft the clear coat is, meaning you might wanna work a large section like you see here, but because the clear coat is very hard, working a larger section is not allowing you to cut to actually remove the swirls and scratches. So with something like that, the most optimal method is to actually work a smaller section because you wanna make sure you're getting as much cut out of the clear coat to remove the swirls. So this is the before, it's pretty trashed, it's in terrible condition. And here are the afters and no one can argue that it doesn't look significantly better. Yes, there's some rids, some random uh, isolated deep scratches. There's a little bit of clear coat failure. There's a little bit of rock chips. There's a little bit of, you know, some, some bird etchings in there. But nonetheless, nonetheless it looks great. And yes, this is applicable to any panel. This one here has curvature, has body lines, and you can still do a large section in one pass. Obviously, I still have to do the polishing step, but it's looking fantastic and it's all done on one pass. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have another tip on how you can increase your efficiency when it comes to polishing? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, if you want to download the ultimate guide to start your decently business, click the description box down below. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one.